Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is colorblindness in humans is caused by a recessive X-linked gene. If a woman who is heterozygous for this trait marries a man with normal color vision, one predicts that and you have to choose the correct answer and I'm going to use red color in order to designate defective chromosome. So we are told that uh, female is heterozygous. So one chromosome is normal and another has defective allele on it. So I would use green color for normal chromosome and red for the chromosome that has defective allele. And man has normal phenotype. So man has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So this is going to be phenotype of the male. So the single X chromosome of the male would be normal. So when we build a Punnett square, we can predict phenotypes and genotypes of the progeny. And according to this Punnett square, here we have two normal X chromosomes, normal X and Y chromosome here, defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome, defective inherited from the mother side and normal from the father side, and defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome here. As you see, 50% of the progeny would be females, 50% of the progeny would be males, and none of the females would be affected with this genetic disorder those 50% of the females would be carriers. But because this is X-link recessive genetic disorder, when female has one defective allele and one normal allele, her phenotype would be normal, just like her mother would be carrier, but phenotype would be normal, so wouldn't be colorblind. And as you see, this male is normal, or 50% males would be normal and 50% would have a problem with uh, color vision because males has only one X chromosome, males doesn't have another normal allele on the Y chromosome because X chromosome and Y chromosome are not homologous. This is two different uh, chromosomes and if we would compare sizes so, for example, this would be the size of the X chromosome and here would be the size of the Y chromosome. So, X chromosome about 10 times bigger than Y chromosome. Uh, these chromosomes only have small homologous sequences on the tips that uh, allowed these two chromosomes uh, make a pair during meiosis of the cell. And uh, basically, as you see, because these homologous regions are on the tips of the chromosomes, uh, these two chromosomes do not have crossing over. So, now we can answer our uh, question. So, answer A. Uh, all of the sons would be colorblind. This is not true. Only 50% of the males. So this is not true. Answer B. One half of the daughters would be colorblind. This is not true. One half uh, of the daughters would be carers. So still would have normal vision. One half of the sons would be colorblind. And this is true. 50% of the male progeny would be colorblind. Answer D. All of the daughters would be heterozygous carriers. This is not true. Only 50% of the daughters would be heterozygous and would be carriers. And answer E. All of the sons would, be, would have normal color vision. This is also not true because only 50% of the sons would have normal color vision. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.